Oh, okay, that's better. Oh, hi guys, didn't, didn't see you there. Uh, I was th just taking, washing up my face in this bloody looking stream in this big ass cave. <laughs> anyway, so, yo fellow pawners, owners, and Dragon Esters, Momo Jean here, and I am here to bring you um, the equipment build 2.0, okay, with a tweaked skill build. Yes, a tweaked mm. skill build, uh, which is the core of my Paladin guide structure or system, comes with changes to the aspect of equipment as well okay same principle here to me skills are more important than stats but of course uh, some of you may argue that stats are more important than skills if you are more damaged if you if your damage dealing role is the primary role oops wrong skill yeah damage dealing role is your primary role okay let's get out of this bloody stream okay feel much more refreshed after that wash Whew. okay let's summon my Cute little doggies, my pets. <laughs> Testicles. So anyway, um, the priority here. Uh, last time, right? I told you the priority of properly equipping yourself, properly equipping yourself, was somewhere um, like this: uh, accessories, armor, and then weapon first. Because well, I really underestimate dam the damage dealing role a lot. But this time around, there's some changes that I'm gonna make. Okay, the priority of you uh, properly equipping yourself. If you feel that the uh, the roles of provoking, absolute blocking, healing, and damage de defense boosting is more important, or rather um, about balance, uh, equal importance to damage dealing, you will probably go like this: accessories first, weapon second, and then lastly by armor. Okay, lastly armor. But if you feel your damage dealing role is the ver the most important one, okay, you will probably go for Weapons first, followed by accessories, and then armor. Okay, my logic here is this. Accessories here, is this the skill Sylviana series of accessories? Yes, for, they actually enhance skills, so enhance your skills, so they're like free skill points, and believe me, it's great, especially when you're cap, um, you're, when you're level 40, you have a cap for your skill level, and what happens with this Skill Sylviana series of accessories actually boost those skills beyond level 40. Like right here, I have Elemental Aura. I boost it. I managed to add it to level 4, and that's beyond level 40 actually. And it's like it, it feels great. It feels like I'm beyond a level 40 character. And when it comes to when you're 50, can you imagine you can boost it beyond level 50? <laughs> feels great, man. And weapon, yes. The reason why um this is also uh, is either most important for you or second importance to accessories is because um, weapons will augment your damage dealing role the most. I mean, the since offensive skills rely on weapons, yep, it makes sense because they, they rely on the attack power that they give, right? Okay, lastly, armor. Armor is actually to me more survivability based and it basically allows you to make more mistakes. With a bigger HP pool, basically you can uh, make mistakes and get hit and whatever. Do, but uh, do know, however, I, I realize um, it can help you boost your damage dealing role with um, percentage strength boosting potentials like I have here. See, the strength 4.5% and other strength and damage set bonuses that you get from let's say Apocalypse and Manticore. Yeah, so but that's about it for uh, in terms of priority of attaining equipment. Okay, so, and as for... Let's see... Okay, let me make it clear, right? Um, if you're going to go for my first... Uh, if you're going to go for the priority, which is accessories, then weapon, then armor, you would probably go for skill Sylviana set of accessories, okay? Instead of the... What's that called? The bear, um, the... The bear, uh, what's that? Bear, Sylviana, um, accessories. What else? That pump strength. I know. There's a lot, basically. But um, basically, you would go for um, skill augmentation rather than stat augmentation. Okay. But if you're going for weapon and then accessories and then armor, you are most likely to take um, the accessories that you're about to take is most likely the bear. Basically, non-skill Sylviana. Uh, accessories, unless you can afford them. 
Because uh, let's head to Berlin. I I'll be able to explain this further easily. I'll see you guys at Berlin. And I don't mean in Germany, I mean the an answer. Okay guys, we're back at Blacksmith Berlin. The troll like constantly breaks my items, yes, and freaking horses are blocking. Hey, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> so anyway, um Yeah, so anyway, let's talk a bit about the accessories first. It doesn't matter whether you're going for accessories first or weapon first in terms of priority. Um I'm just gonna tell you a bit about uh, the accessories. Okay, the you gotta note right, if you're more into stats that you, you need you need to get stats, really strong stats quickly, okay, instead of getting uh, augmented skills, you'll probably want to get the the normal Sylviana earrings, the bear uh, earrings, the bear necklaces and the probably destruction rings, Sylviana rings. Because um in terms of price and it's actually cheapest you can get them easily and then um yeah because what happens is when you start investing in skills to the Anna it they give you actually random stats but do note here they if you actually get lucky right like right here you see skills to the Anna look at that attack power 98 <laughs> followed by 91 these actually give if you're lucky they give much more more attack power stats um Strength stats, whatever stats, basically vitality, even vitality stats, much more than the the normal Sylviana accessories. And if you're looking into getting which uh, skills to get augmented, um, go ahead and look through the Berlin set. I mean, it's insane how much he gets. You know, uh, how much, how many skills you can you can get, and basically get it beyond the level forty cap. You know. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about weapons. Um, if you can afford, basically the Taramai epic um, weapons are already more than enough actually. They are, and if, but if you're rich enough, you should you could you can probably invest in the Manticore sets and the Apocalypse sets just for their set bonuses, which are pretty pretty good actually. But if you can't, it's actually okay. You probably want to get your weapon to at least. Plus 10 enhancement level <laughs> interrupted by Skype. But anyway, at least plus 10, okay, to have it at least at a satisfact uh, satisfactory level. Yeah, mine's at like plus 6, which is pretty dang sad actually. Prefixes I'll cover. If you're going more, if you're more a team player, right, you would probably get, you would want to get the. Come on, come on, come on. You would. Taramai. Ah, doesn't matter. You would want to get Hero. Uh, and shock. These are more team playing, more team oriented um, prefixes, weapon prefixes. Where if it's you're more into your own personal damage dealing, and you'll probably go for destruction, harsh, or fatal. In fact, but fatal is not so popular. And if you're more into survivability, even more go ahead for HP prefix, man. I don't know what's stopping you. <laughs> Okay, now moving on to armor. Armor is basically quite simple. Um, you basically can get you if you can go ahead for the Taramai. If you can afford, go ahead for the the Manticore sets, the Manticore and the Apocalypse sets because their bon the bonus sets they give you right, the set bonuses are actually quite quite useful. As for the prefixes for armor, um, HP prefix by far seems the most popular one. Luck, maybe applicable but I'm not sure I haven't tried it out yet okay now I'm gonna talk about the desirable stats that you would want um, in terms of for your from your maze uh, from your skill Sylvie Anna rings the 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 what's that not just the hidden potentials but also the description the stats they give you and also the hidden potentials for armor okay the stats the desirable stats you probably want to go for strength okay because well, it just basically augments your damage dealing and vitality and max HP is probably sub gonna be sub for you just because your main um, survivability skills is not your HP it's actually your absolute blocking skills right so um, boosting HP is not really the most important factor strength is more important followed by probably um, if you can afford go ahead don't you actually can go ahead and go for agility and 
critical just for times two damage. You know, <laughs> helps boost damage boosting, uh, damage dealing even further. I think that's about it, guys. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to keep this short, and I hope it's short. Uh, thank you for watching, guys.